Hi, and welcome to today's Read Aloud. In celebration of the final day of Pride Month, we wanted to read Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag, written by Rob Sanders and illustrated by Stephen Salerno. Harvey Milk considered himself to be an ordinary man, but he had an extraordinary dream. In this deeply moving and empowering true story, we trace the life of the gay pride flag from its beginnings in 1978 with social activist Harvey Milk and designer Gilbert Baker to its spanning of the globe and its role in the world today. Award-winning author Rob, Salerno, or Rob Sanders' striking text and the acclaimed illustrator Stephen Salerno's evocative images combine to tell this remarkable and undertold story, a story of love, hope, equality, and pride. Today's theme are identity, love, acceptance, and pride. Today's question is, can you think about when you've seen this beautiful flag before? Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You have to give them hope. Hope for a better world. Hope for a better tomorrow. Harvey Milk was an ordinary man, but he had an extraordinary dream. And that dream would change history. Harvey dreamed that everyone, even gay people, would have equality. He dreamed that he and his friends would be treated like everyone else. He dreamed that one day, people would be able to live and love as they pleased. With his New York accent, Harvey talked to everyone about his dream. His voice boomed. His body bounced with energy and excitement. Some people listened. A few agreed. Most did not. But Harvey's big voice and his big dream wouldn't be stopped. He discovered that the best way to change the laws was to help make laws. And in 1977, Harvey Milk took a big step toward that dream when he became one of the first openly gay people to be elected to political office in the United States. Harvey and his friends planned marches to protest inequality and unfair laws. And just days before one of the marches, Harvey had an idea. A symbol, he thought. We need a symbol that shows who we are and how we feel. Something to carry during the march. Something to make people feel like they're part of a community. Something to give people hope. Something extraordinary. Harvey knew an artist who could help. Gilbert Baker. Harvey asked. Gilbert said, we need flags. Volunteers arrived to help Gilbert's design come to life, and together they dipped fabric into large barrels filled with vibrant, vi vivid designs. They cut and pieced and sewed until Harvey, Gilbert, and the other activists had a flag. A flag with eight colorful stripes. A flag that Harvey hoped would give people hope. Rights are won only by those who make their voices heard. On June 25, 1978, when it was time for the march, a breeze stirred in San Francisco. The flag unfurled. The wind blew, the flag fluttered, flapped, and flew. A rainbow as bright and unique as the men and women who walked behind it led the march. Harvey and the people asked for equality. They asked to be treated like everyone else. They asked to live and love as they pleased. They hoped the march would make a difference. Harvey was proud of the flag and proud of himself. He hoped others could be proud too. Five months later, on the morning of November 27, 1978, Harvey and the mayor of San Francisco, George Moscone, were assassinated. Their lives were taken by a man who did not think like Harvey or feel like him or love like him. The flag did not fly on that dark, sad night. Instead, thousands and thousands of people marched silently, carrying candles. 
The candlelight wove through the streets of San Francisco, up and down hills and around city buildings. A mile of glowing candlelight in honor of two lives lost. That could have been the end of Harvey's dream and the colorful flag. But it wasn't. More rainbow flags were created. Some of the colors changed. Eight stripes became six. But the meaning of the flag did not change. It was a flag of equality. More and more people began to think of the flag as their flag and began to feel pride and began to have hope. In 1994, Gilbert Baker designed another rainbow flag. This one was larger than the rest. Men and women side by side carried the flag. A proud mile long rainbow floated through New York City. The flag wove through the streets, up and down avenues and boulevards and around city buildings. The people demanded equality. They demanded to be treated like everyone else. They demanded to live and love as they pleased. They were proud. They had hope. They would make a difference. I ask for the movement to continue, for the movement to grow. More rainbow flags were made. Some were printed on bumper stickers and t-shirts. Others were hoisted onto lampposts on Halsted Street in Chicago. One was hung in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Soon, the rainbow flag was flying in other countries like Brazil, England, Israel, Russia, Singapore, and Turkey. The rainbow flag now unfurled on farms, in suburbs, and in cities. The flag flew proudly outside public buildings, hotels, shops, restaurants, churches, and homes. And once, on June 26, 2015, the White House was awash in the colors of the rainbow flag. Equality, pride, hope, love. Harvey's dream became a flag for us all. You have to give them hope. For today's activity, I want you to think about Harvey Milk and all of those people who fought and continue to fight for equality for everyone. As we read this book the other day to my kiddo, he said to me, Mommy, isn't it just like fighting for equality like we read about in all the other books, like Henry's Freedom Box? And I said, yes, Brendan, it is. We want equality for everyone, no matter what skin color, what religion, or who they choose to love. It's extremely important for us that our kiddos grow up in a world where people are allowed to be themselves and that we accept them for who they are. Not only accept them, but we love them for who they are and we cherish what they bring to our table, our mixing melting pot. So today for our activity, I want you to think about when you've seen this beautiful flag in your life. Maybe you've seen the flag itself or maybe you've seen rainbows all over. So today I want you to get creative. I want you to grab your crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever it is you like to choose. And I want you to draw a picture that incorporates this pride flag or the rainbow. Maybe you draw a rainbow fish, a rainbow dog, or maybe you draw a picture of yourself with rainbow hair, whatever it is you like to use. I would love to see these beautiful and inspiring pictures. So if you'd like, you can send them to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com or you can post it on social media, show your pride and tag us in it. We would love to see these. Thank you so much for sharing this story, Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the rainbow flag with us today. And remember to always be proud of who you are. Thank you for sharing it with me. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.